Hello again and thanks for tuning in to HumanWare's Keysoft 9.5 Snapshot Tutorial Series where you'll learn short snippets about what's coming in Keysoft 9.5. My name is Greg Stills and I'm HumanWare's Product Manager of Braille and GPS Products. And just a reminder, these Keysoft Snapshot Tutorial videos are very short videos that will introduce you to some of the new features in Keysoft 9.5 so you can see how they will affect your daily lives with your Braille Node Apex. So the, the second video that we're going to start talking about today is related to uh, something that is happening really all around the world, and that is standardized testing. So in more and more areas, standardized tests are being uh, required that the student has to be doing them on a computer, either with some type of special software, a web-based test, possibly it may be done on a, a different style of mobile device, um, but basically for security purposes the test has to be done on these secure environments. The problem is, is that oftentimes Braille isn't taken into account in these testing environments, so we at HumanWare want to make it as easy as possible for uh, you as teachers to be able to use the existing technology that you have with your students, the technology they're already familiar with, so they can jump right into taking the test and not worry about troubleshooting their technology. So in order to take an exam, for example, the student has to be able to read the questions. And when I say read the questions, I mean actually read them in Braille, not just listening to a screen reader. So that's where the Braille Note Apex's new exam mode comes into play. So Keysoft 9.5 has a new feature called the exam mode that basically will uh, allow you as a teacher to restrict the access uh, of the Apex to only being a Braille terminal so that you don't have to go out and buy a second Braille display specifically for t a testing environment. Um, so in this case, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up the exam mode so that your student will be able to use the device as a Braille terminal, but they won't be able to get to any of their word processing or internet or, or email or anything like that uh, to allow them to take the exam in a secure environment. So from the main menu, what I'm going to do is uh, jump main menu. to the utilities menu by pressing the letter U. I could space to it as well, but I'm going to press U. And now I'm going to space down through all the options in the utilities menu so you can see what's there. Connect to app, synchronization, backup or restore files, pronunciation, date, date and times, install Keysoft, applicate, miscellaneous option, language option, security, exam mode setup. So the last item called exam mode setup is accessible. You could have pressed the letter X and I'll do that right now, but I wanted to show you that you can press space to get there. So I'll press X to get into exam mode. Enable exam mode. So it says enable exam mode. Now it doesn't say do I, what, what is it looking for. So remember that you always have your contextual help uh, available that you could press space with H. To activate exam mode and set up a password, press Y. Otherwise, press N. So it says to activate exam mode, press Y for yes. So I'm going to do that right now. Y for yes. Yes. Login prompt set up list. Okay, and it's asking me now to press space. I need to go down the list to see what options I need to set up. So I'll press space. Enable password protection currently no. So password protection is currently off. So I'm going to hit Y for yes to turn this on. Enter password. Enter password. So now we need to use just regular grade one Braille. So I'm going to type in just the word testing for my password. T E S T I N G. And I'll press enter. Confirm password. Okay, Con confirm password. So I need to type it a second time. T E S T I N G. Enter. And now it's saying, are you sure you want to do this? So it's saying confirm changes. I'll press Y for yes. Yes. Your device is now protected with a password. Braille terminal port currently Bluetooth. Okay, and now it's saying Braille terminal port. What do you want to use? Bluetooth or USB? In most cases, you're going to be using a USB connection with a PC. In order for me to keep showing you video on the screen of what I'm doing, I'm going to actually choose Bluetooth because I've got my Braille note connected to my computer with the USB port. So just to show you how it's going to work, I'm going to use a Bluetooth connection. In some cases, depending on the school district or the environment, you may be using a Bluetooth connection to some other device, um, either a Bluetooth laptop or an iPad or something like that. So I'll press enter on Bluetooth. Braille terminal. And you hear it beep at you to say Braille terminal. At this point, I am now locked into the Braille terminal 
and I cannot go anywhere. I could reset my apex, I could turn the device off, I could try to do an exit, and you'll see what happens. So let's say that I go through and I do my exam, and I'm ready to be done. Okay. Now, at any point, if the student tries to go to the main menu, I'll press space with all six dots. Exit Braille Terminal. Sure. This requires a password. It says, exit Braille Terminal. Are you sure this requires a password? And if the student's done with the test, they would say Y for yes. If they say Y for yes right now, and they're not done with the exam, you can go in and say, what are you doing? Because if I hit Y, yes. Enter password. At this point, I have to enter the password. I cannot uh, get out of the Braille terminal unless I've entered in that password. So let's say I type in T E S T I N, enter. Invalid password. Enter password. It locks you completely in until you are uh, officially done with that exam. So now I'll type in the correct password T E S T I N G. Exit. Main menu. And now I'm right back at the main menu, just as I was using my Apex normally. So I hope you find this uh, this new exam mode useful in your in your classroom environment for your standardized testing or whatever you choose to use it for. And stay tuned for future Keysoft 9.5 tutorial snapshot videos. Once again, my name is Greg Stilson, and we'll talk to you soon.